Lounging, lounging with the laces. You and me, family. Lounging, oh, lounging, lounging with the laces. Changing the world one vlog at a time. One vlog at a time. One vlog at a time. The laces. The laces. This Sunday morning, we went to church this morning, Sunday. and we uh, went to Little Caesars to grab the kids some pizzas, and uh, we are headed to do some pre-birthday training for this guy. Happy birthday to me, people! It's coming up. The video box is below for gifts, gift cards, whatever you name it, cash. I'll take anything. I'm grateful. But like my wife said, we are headed for. My birthday gift. Um, gun training. I will be purchasing a firearm pretty soon. Probably by the time my birthday, I'll be getting it. So we're just going to get some training, me and the wife. You know? And uh, just have a nice, relaxing Sunday, people. That'll be it. Thought we might take you guys along. Master fun. See you in a bit. Wait for me. All right, what up, peeps? We are headed to shoot some guns. I'm thinking about which one I'm gonna get. I have a buddy of mine from the church. He's a, uh, a gun teacher. And um, so yeah, he wanted to show me a couple of things, touch up on our skills. This is the person that trained me and my wife. Um, when we first start learning how to shoot and stuff. So we're gonna come out here, a little target practicing. He has a wide a variety of guns. So before I go purchase another one or give one, he wanted me to test out some different ones. Is it heavier than you thought? Yeah. <laughs> a little heavier than a toy? Than his Nerf gun. <laughs> Meaning we want our hand to be as high up here as possible. And then we're gonna gently squeeze. We're not trying to kill it. If I remember right, you were trying to kill the gun last time. You're trying to muscle it, and <laughs> you get that you get the shakes because you're squeezing so hard. Your muscles get fatigued. Uh, it becomes a little little shaky. So we're just gonna gentle squeeze. We want to cover up as much as this area as possible with our other hand. So we're gonna come over the top, turn our hand. We'll turn our hand to a 45. Come over the top, and that thumb's gonna lie right along the slide like that. We lay our other thumb just right on top. And the really cool thing is later on down the road, we'll talk about point shooting, which doesn't use the sights. Where our thumbs are pointing is where we're gonna hit. Okay. So. And then the top of this site should be lined up with the top of this site. Got it. All right, so is it right there in the middle? Yeah. All right, go ahead and fire when you're ready. Okay. Okay. So are you done with this one or you yeah. wanna? Okay. And then you're just gonna grab this other hand. And keep your finger off the trigger, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna come in, we're gonna cock the hammer all the way back. And at this point, you'd be ready to shoot, okay? Mm -hmm. So then you'd shoot the gun, the hammer would go forward, and it would go off. And then you'll have to cock it again, all right? Are you ready for it? All right. Go ahead and put that thumb down there, get this other hand right, right on there, bring this finger down below. All right, and go ahead and fire it when you're ready. So look through it. How'd that feel? That's fine. Okay. Feels a little bit like a cap gun, right? Yeah. Oh, that 
was right in the middle. Good yeah, job. Yeah, good job. Okay, Bobby, you can get in the All right, now don't psych yourself out. Just because it's a bigger bullet doesn't mean it's going to kick anymore. Just treat it like you would the other guns. Especially with 12 gauge, it's really important that we get it high in the pocket of our shoulder. So see how this is still coming over the top of my shoulder mm -hmm. a little bit? I'm going to hold it in there real tight. I'm pulling it to me. Okay. What we tend to do is we'll think, oh, this is going to kick. And right as we're pulling the trigger, we'll pull it out a little bit. And then it'll come back and hit us. Yeah. What oh. hurts more? If I punch you like this or if I go like this? Yeah, punch, yeah. Right. Punching hurts more than just a nudge like that. I'm going to bend my knees a little bit. I'm going to lean into it. That way I'm acting as a shock absorber in my body. And yeah, it'll rock me back a little bit, but I'm gonna fall back down in the target. Make sense? Yeah. All right. Alright peeps, we just got done a little bit of firearm training. I'm gonna go ahead and give me a, uh, a Glock 19 and then um, I think for my birthday since it's coming up and then um, yeah, so I'm gonna do what I'm gonna be doing is something um, he's actually a firearm instructor. So I'm gonna be doing some tactical training here starting next week or the week after that just to be able to use my weapon in the actual live scenario situation get proficient with it and like for me i'm really into the martial arts and stuff so it's more of an art form for me so uh, anything that got to do with weapons knives and stuff i've always been interested in learning and training about it and then dan he wants to learn too as well so i said people now we're gonna head home um get ready oh yeah we gotta we gonna head out and go see um scorch trials with the fam and yeah that'll be it um kick it sunday start back the work week starting on uh, tomorrow and that's it i hope you guys been having a great week um that's about it